20 seconds without Arme. They're going to look for more grabs before they close it up. Jump ball for Kalans. GQ goes down. Nothing to say as well. A chase point, nothing to say. Has a buyback. Eight seconds until Arme with the ancient. They're looking to close it up. They're they can the taste the championship. They can taste the money with the back door protection. No it. The back door protection is in. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. PSG, you need they'll start now to force Spirit back out the base. Meposhka will get himself out with a blink. Let's see what they can do around this pit. They're still down 16k PSG RGD, but they've got all their ults up. Can Sweet. they make any sort of steal? They've already managed to set up here. On to the cut. They're going to go straight to work. Yatora coming in with a BKB. The cars holds back on out the side. Nothing to say. He's going to go down. Out for 110. Yatora's ready to step over his next target. He's looking over towards Armin. Collapse. Off in the BKB. And Meposhka keeping himself alive with the cold embrace. Spirit. They'll turn over towards Armin. Armin's still got the BKB to go. He's killed off another support. He's looking at to Toronto Tokyo. Toronto Tokyo by some of the others. He's got another remnant. Slight miss into the remnant of the high ground. He's away. But look at why. He's oh. stuck on the cliff. Why? Dude, look at how carefully they're playing it. They're scared to walk up there and try to kill him. <laughs> why slash? Oh, they got him. There we go. They'll take him off the cliff. But look at Roche. Oh, oh he's killing Roche. Oh, no, he can't do it, surely. Link out time collapse. He's got his eyes on him. Still no nothing to say or why for 50 seconds. Is alone. He's gone in alone. That was a risky move. He's got the back of a Jin Q. But Spirit, they're going to chase on. Slight chase. Oh, no, he's oh, gone. Two minutes, no, Tiny. But they're not waiting for the creeps. They're ready to close in this time. Only two left. Well now. One time is funny, two times is fucking annoying. He's going in. There's a lot of heroes here. Supernova down. Did you see that? That was a Bruin. Yeah, he did not last that ah, long. It was gone. Just instantly. This split is not going to be able to stop this Roche from happening. So Aegis on the ground. Oh no. Hello? Team? Team? What? Team? This is this is this is an important match. Team! There's an Aegis on the ground. It's just sitting in there. 
I, uh, nobody got it. All right, now the cheese. I oh my God! Ig, somebody oh, go no, no, pick no, no, up no. the ages. He's walking back in. I think. Do oh they not they know? They actually don't they know. They don't know. I mean, who? Oh it? my God! They don't know. The Aegis is still on the ground. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he never gets the Aegis. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Just like that, it happened. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you say is the worst teammate in interviews? I have no idea, unfortunately. If you don't know, then... But like, <laughs> I guess me. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to say it. Who is the worst teammate in interviews? I would say Nisha. 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 Poor guy got put on blast by your whole team. <laughs> <laughs> One of the reasons LGD is so good is because of their general flexibility. Like, nothing to say. I just talked about how different of a role that is, technically speaking. And, oh, we're going to see the stop oh, it. The to the Fiends grab Kuku. Very unlucky. And that's going to be a kill going the way of Ame again. 3v1. Yeah. Have a look. What do they want to take first? IG. Lots of options. Yeah, Io, Weaver, Monkey King are the three big ones that we've seen prioritized by majority. Aya. Oh, yeah. Aya oh, first for IG. And OG. Yeah, trouble with their equipment or something like that. Look, I'm not going to be held responsible for faulty engineering. I don't know. Do they want the uh, monkey king? Not sure. That was left in for a while. Do the people hear it? it? Do they see it? Do they see they do not. They still see us. Production. Da 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 da. We'll have it in a second for you guys. But it is an IO first pick. It was a tiny Lesh band from OG. And IO was first picked by IG. OG, they're the going to grab monkey king. We'll have the draft, the draft, hopefully for you guys in a moment. Products. JJ. <laughs> JJ, it was. Oh my, JJ. It's not JJ. Or is it? Jabs has been such a, a, a great player in this series for them here. And now again, ooh, time lapses away. Baits out the arena and gets out before Zai could throw anything. He's also been the important chat wheel hero too. Yeah. You know? You, you look, press enter. Look at him. It's just all <laughs> chaps. <laughs> That's it. Give it a tip look, afterwards. Look, scroll up. <laughs> it just keeps going. It's literally just chaps. <laughs> and the high five the too. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Draft Panel. I am here with two very tall people, AYN Lizard. One of the things that the panel said... Oh, my gosh, please don't drink anymore. So one of the things that the, pa that the panel said is that the Fnatic will need to stabilize Raven's farm. Elder type six for the first splitter. Why? Because they're splitters. on the Shrek. Nobody wants it. Oh, hey. God. Hey, I've seen this one. I've seen this one. This is a classic. It's still there, guys. It's still there. Go get yourself a free Aegis. They're trying to make the game easier for you guys. History in the making. Nobody has noticed yet. I don't think Tomato, maybe. We gotta move on to the big juicy one here. Yeah. Text time. Text time. Read us the last text message you sent, Seb. <laughs> my, to my mother, can I call you? I sent, now we're doing interviews to my wife, and then like a, like a bored face. A bored face? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Always a pleasure to watch Secret Draft, and we have a new panelist with us. Howdy. You might have not seen him before. Her name is Sheepsticked. How are you doing? How are you feeling first time on panel here? I'm feeling amazing. Uh, they let me know they don't have enough British talent. British? Yes, yeah, so they just had to fly me over quickly to fill that gap. That's nice. Would you believe it? Uh, diversity is important. Then we also got Aoi. We've seen him before. <laughs> Hello, Aoi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's one person that we do need to see before we get right into the game. As you guys know, this is the famous segment, The Last Word, and we're going to go on with BSJ's best friend, Jenkins. Hello. 
Let me tell you what's gonna go down in this game. There's the camera I'm supposed to look at. Okay, on one side, we got Team Secret. They got Monkey King, they have Enchantress, they have TA. Name three heroes that push lanes better than they do. You might be thinking there's absolutely no way that IG is gonna win this game. False, that's not true. There's no way IG absolutely can win this lane, this game, not the lane. They've got Mars, they've got Lina, they've got Lion. These are pick off heroes extraordinaire. They can absolutely win. If these guys on Team Secret are pushing up in those side lanes, they're gonna pick them off. That's what's gonna happen in this game. We also have a Winter Wyvern. We have Mars, like I just mentioned already. These heroes can absolutely fight into anything. But Team Secret, what are they, what are they waiting for? What are they riding on? They need, they need this TA to absolutely pop off. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to push out the sidelines. They're trying to make sure that their TA gets farmed. And we'll see, can Matumba Man's beard give Team Secret the power to get through this game? Introducing Purge and Moxie. <laughs> Thank you so God. much, Jenkins. That was incredible. My goodness, Purge. Yeah, I don't know where we're going to get that kind of throw. It was, it was a great way to start the cast. Well, we're going to have to hear from our expert here, though, as we go now to Jenkins with his last word. Hello, thank you, it's me again. On one side, we got Secret Zai on his Earthshaker. Now I'm on camera, that's good, okay. We have Puppy, who's on his Enchantress. He's gonna be owning up the lanes. They're trying to snowball the lanes. We got Yapsor playing, Wind Ranger. If they go late on Team Secret, they're gonna win. But you have to be careful, because IG, you know what they have? They got Emo on Kunkka. They have Mars again. That's a great team fighter. These guys can win the team fights if the game goes late. You're not beating a Spectre in the late game. God Damn it, you think you're beating a Spectre? That's a joke. You're a complete joke, but there's a dual core on Secret. So will the dual core be successful? Will we see a Spectre win another goddamn game? There's 26 seconds left. I thought this was a lot quicker. All right, on the other side, we have, yeah, back to bug a Lifestealer. Actually, one very good counter to the Spectre, but guess what? You gotta win early. Will that happen? I don't know, what do I know? You know who do, does know something? Moxie and guy who doesn't have a beard. Take it away. Thank you so much for that, Jenkins. My goodness, I, I don't know what to say to that. I don't know what was on his hands and his face and his belt. What happened over there? Something happened the last hour, uh, oh, South Squared! Yeah. Yo! Smoke kills on this square. <laughs> that your safe lane might get exposed. This Necro into the three position for Faith Beyond is really nice here. All right, well, that's gonna be it coming out from us over here at the draft panel. We've got a very interesting game ahead of us. And speaking of interesting, we have a very interesting person who's ready to give us the last word. Necrophos. Well Ladies said, and gentlemen, <laughs> this is the face of the man who has to make content around Herald gameplay. They can't even get back to the fountain. GG G is called. Secret looking utterly terrifying in this game too. As with that, they secure themselves the series two to zero against OG. They will be moving up in the upper bracket and OG, they'll have to climb through the lower. OG has not been in the lower bracket in four years. You got any advice for them? Stay down. <coughs> <coughs> right, thank you so much, puppy. Back to you. <laughs> He will walk away from them all. 
Oh, well, they're going to clear up the vision around here first. Again, just sort of uh, playing the front line here for Yadaro, like good for uh, for Chun, was uh, being looked at here. And uh, has one of the Obliv Oblivion staffs done, and then, of course, have an opportunity to perhaps kill Toronto Tokyo. Uh, Toronto Tokyo, though, is going straight for the uh, the BKB this game after the Falcon Blade. And one little treant that Yadaro killed, but it blocked the Ancients before that ended up happening. So Classic jab. Been very annoying to play against. Mm, has no TP scroll, also just TP'd up here, so. And again, sending in those treants to block out the Ancients. He's gonna do it again to him. So the economic damage that this does and I the nine, the bounty roll. I room. love it. player's heart. You know, they got all their little spreadsheets. Yeah, I love how he hangs it, too. And then look, they're checking for wards. Right, so there's a ward spot back there where you can break a tree and plant a sentry, and the only way to see it is those vision type spells. Oh, man. My poster's gonna be like, dude, I promise you, there, there is no sentry in there. This is the punish. The nature's prophet getting picked. I swear, even yeah, if they lose not. this game on Fnatic, like, I just, I feel like this has got to be so taxing to play against. Hello again. They need a theme We're song back. or something at this point. <laughs> They're just there. I am having a very bad day. I am in no mood. Today is one of the worst days that I've had in a long time. I'm not in the mood to play with anybody. To that point where you feel you are in danger, there was very nicely timed global silence to disrupt any Earthshaker combination. One thing that always bothered me about the global silence is how can you cast the global silence if the Earth is flat? I don't believe this. I don't. I don't believe you. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> God gave me the look. <laughs> uh, moving on. There's move a, on. I mean, that. they get, did get that first pick off, but Oli, he just buys back. And um, unfortunately, when Collapse jumped in, he did not BKB. So they were able to get the quick Echo Slam up from JT, and now they're getting right. ready to. And now, woo! Oh! Oh, no. Unfortunate. That's. You know what happens. It does. Okay, it you happens. don't need to tell me. I play a lot of Void. It happens a lot. And so I need to ask you what it's like for you right now because at TI6, you played on eHome alongside Ice, Ice, Ice. Is it hard to send an old teammate home? If it's someone if it's someone else, I think I would be a little sad, but if it's Ice Ice Ice, it feels great. <laughs> God damn! That is no brutal. Mercy. That's oh, brutal. Man. И в этот момент Сумаил, которого мы так яростно хвалили и говорили, как он тащит, нанес 13 тысяч урона, последнее место вообще по урону на всей карте, со счетом 1-6 завершил карту и, конечно же, уверенно выиграл на Луне. Господа! Давайте разбираться, что у нас произошло на первой карте и как что-то менять ко второй для Квинтиприо. Там уже некому, там некому передавать, ребята. It was Kuro's team, and uh, at the time we thought we were really good, so when we played against them, we we're like expecting to own them kind of thing, and then they just like they shit on us like so hard. They like we lost to some like off lane Drow Ranger kind of thing going on, like. It felt like they're trolling us, but we lost. And I just remember sitting there after just laughing. It's Ori being pursued by the monkey. 23 Savage has the boundless strike, connects White Mon in the vicinity. This is going to be another kill onto Ori. Just such a rough, <laughs> rough game for him after that really good start. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll get to why I'm laughing so hard right now. Let's see if he gets out. Carl, looks no fine. No mash. 
All right, tell me why you're laughing, Cinder. All right, so Carl blinks in for the follow-up when they're on the Lima, and he shoots his breathe fire like 500 range away, <laughs> misses it completely, and plays the set. Trouble. Nice. Well, at least he, it's a good effort, though. That's yeah, it is. This is a good time for a question for you. Okay. You're never going to guess what I'm going to ask you about. <sighs> my question for you is, what is my question going to be? <laughs> What is the act of a fey grenade called? Yes! No, that, what's the pa Yeah, actually, yes. <laughs> You're right, that was oh what God. I was going to ask, but... You're so predictable, well, wait. actually. Hey, you didn't guess I was going to ask you about the question itself, though. <laughs> that caught you off guard. Team spirit. Well, what's the answer, then? I have no idea. And I think more than any other team in this tournament, it just feels like they make so little mistakes that... And so few. So few mistakes. <laughs> the fact that a non-first... English language person is correcting me. It really makes this sad. First for English me. language person, yes. Oh, God. It is I. End me. End me, Cinder, please. <laughs> yes, you I don't were remember saying. what I was saying anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is it? Oh, they, make, they don't make many mistakes. True. I actually don't remember. Do they Attack stay in dragon form when he turns back? Yes. You sure about that? Yeah. That's the the reason you're not terror sure blade is, is the one terror that's blade, uh, but that's because he yeah his is an aura yeah so they should stay in dragon form yeah. and I I do believe I just saw that okay they don't turn back. <laughs> trivia do they turn back to human or not I could promise you they used to <laughs> yeah, they well, are you're a freaking boomer they're still in dragon form it's what? just visual they're attacking oh you're right no, go to dragon oh, form. okay uh, damn it I told well, you well technically I'm right they are human form they're just attacking in range form now so. We're kind of both, I mean, technically, Radio I am the one, right one here, Cinder, so. Zai looking for an opening, but it's not going to be found. Instead, he's going to go out of his grave. Buys back into the game. Looks like Nisha, that's a dieback. 120 seconds in the grave for you. All made triple kill. Wolf, Christmas tree, lights. Just say anything, and it makes sense at this point, Cinder, and that's two sets of racks for LGD. Broccoli. As 23 Savage now in the jungle. Uh, White Mon, Nightmare. Yeah, it might be shown here the Nightmare Frostbite Exchange. 23 Savage, double <laughs> cookie. White Mon will fall first at 23 Savage. The biggest gold swing that T1 have had go their way in the entire game. Yep, absolutely. As we're going to see. Well, that didn't result in much. Here's the duel onto the Dragon Knight. I don't Buyback know down from White Mon, but it looks like the damage is going to go the way of the Dragon instead. It will be a trade of lives, though. As that is a dieback on the White Mon. So, you know, when you. When you Buy back and die again. The, yes. The timer gets added on top. Yeah. It's I wonder still how many extra death seconds he got out of this because he was alive like a good one second after <laughs> teleporting in. Yeah. So that was uh, that's a long time. A net loss trying to uh, trying to overtake Puppy's record of time spent dead at TI here. White Mon. Wow. Well, is, uh, his is more out of quantity than anything. Though, right? That's true. I, he's got a lot of ways to go. I mean, I'm sure you can compete with that despite only playing in a couple TIs. Right? That's a good joke, Sunspan Thank TV. You. Right. Appreciate that, Sunspan. Yeah. Let's get a cheer for that joke in chat, please. It's really <laughs> Cutting it close there. Still working on his BKB. Roche as second, up. Roche is available. Yeah. Who gets the shards? Oh, uh, I was going to say. You said it first. <laughs> I mean, Faith Beyond already has his, right? So You do a really good Suns fan impersonation. Did you know that? <laughs> oh, boy. That's, that's an insult, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. This is the thing I like about Wraith King as a position one. It kind of creates space for some, like a position for like Dawnbreaker, theoretically, to get some farm once he enters that jungle. Yeah. Semi full-time, if that's even a word. Semi we'll just go in. <laughs> that's called part-time, I Part-time job is S4, <laughs> gets the bro strike up. Shannon, we're 10 minutes in. Yeah. It's time for trivia. Okay. What is the square root of the sum of the cooldown of Roshan's abilities? All right, that's a stupid question. Next. It's a, it's a whole number. Say it this again. Is what what is the square root of the total cooldown of Roshan's abilities? I don't know. Two. That is very, Four. very bad. Eight. Twelve. <laughs> so one They're of dying! Cast the fight! Carl! <laughs> Looks like there's going to be a trade. Sindrin is trying to sabotage this cast. As you can see, the faceless boy dies. <laughs> What is wrong with you? <laughs> this is TI-10 main stage, for I, God's sake. Yeah, we get to have a good time, though. That's important. That's true. No, I agree. Interview with the coach, he would be like, yeah, we knew what they were going to pick, but we let them. You know, we, we prepared <laughs> for it. And I'm not yeah, sure it's... if that's the right approach. And l look at those smiles. The, that, that's Whitemon right there taking the punches in the middle. Like, <laughs> is... he's, it's, it, the mood is just so relaxed. 
Yeah. This is yeah. what's going to happen if we lose. <laughs> no, this is... I, I mean, maybe it's a...